Hey geeks, welcome to another episode of 256 Seconds with .NET Dave. I'm David McCarter. I'm glad you're back uh, watching uh, one of these episodes. If you watched the Build Conference this year, you saw that Copilot is being added to a lot of Microsoft products, and it's already part of Visual Studio, but there are some really cool things that are in the new version that was released with Build. So I decided I'm going to do a series of all the things you can do with Copilot within Visual Studio. This episode and the preceding episodes, we're going to be talking about the slash commands that are part of the Copilot chat window. The first command we're going to talk about is the slash doc command. If you follow me on Twitter, or if you purchase one of my books, or you see me at a conference, one of the things I've been talking a lot about uh, for as long as I can remember is documenting your code with XML comments. These comments can be used in all kinds of things, including IntelliSense, creating documentation, which includes websites, and a lot more. So it's very important for any class that you write in .NET that you document it thoroughly. You can see here an example from my open source project, Spargen, of how I document all of my classes, whether it's my open source or whether I'm working for a company, I thoroughly document all of my classes. And I've been doing this for a really long time. I know a lot of code and a lot of developers don't write documentation. Hey, I'm with you. I, <laughs> I'd rather not write it either, but it's vitally important for uh, the now and the future of the code. I don't know how many times I've looked at code and it took me so long to try to figure out what it was doing because there wasn't any comments, not any XML comments, not any code comments, uh, poor naming standards, all these things. And, and all of what I'm going to be talking about today, except for the co-pilot piece, is in my coding standards book. And so I hope you go get a copy of that. If you don't document your code, well, there's a lot of other people and teams that don't either, including Microsoft. This is an example of uh, the uh, uh, find uh, method in the linked list uh, from the .NET source code. And you can see uh, there's no documentation whatsoever. No XML comments. There's no code comments. Uh, basically nothing. So when you look at this with IntelliSense, nothing's going to come up. And that's not a help for anybody. Now that I've been doing contracting for the most part for about 15 years, I see the same thing in all the in most of the projects I work on. There's there's no documentation, and so therefore, that can lead to a lot of wasted time trying to figure out what this method does, what it shouldn't do. Uh, it, it, so documentation is vitally important. So I want to start off by showing you this uh, method called add exception from my simple result class in Spargen. You can see here there's little squigglies because I don't have the documentation and we're going to fix that. So for many, many, many years, I've been using this add-in to Visual Studio to help me write documentation. And this is the default, what it comes up with, if you use good naming standards. Uh, and the documentation simply is adds the exception and uh, the parameter name is the error. Uh, this is not great. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, but it's, it's not very descriptive by any stretch. So let me introduce you to the slash a doc command. So to document this method, I simply just click on the method. I go over to the GitHub chat window. I do slash doc and return. So you can see Copilot came up with really detailed documentation for this method. It even added something very important that I rarely see people use, and that's the exception tag uh, to, to let the caller of the code know exactly what exceptions will be thrown. Very, very important when you're doing try catches. So now I can uh, choose to just copy the uh, documentation over, or I can use the preview button here and as you can see here, the preview button will come up with a diff uh, of the changes. I can do accept and I'm all done. Check it in, move on to the next documentation. So Copilot can also document classes for you. You can see here the default 
uh, documentation that was added using the tool I used to use just says class uh, dictionary extensions. Well, that's again, not very descriptive. So if I run the doc command, so again, you can see Copilot generated much better documentation for the top of my class uh, by giving a lot more uh, description. So something that Copilot can generate for you is examples of how to use the method that's being documented. Now I do this, uh, but not very often because it does take more time. But Copilot actually does some pretty good examples and I'm gonna show you. And, and here's how I do it. I just say doc provide example in example tag. Wow, look at that. Look at the example that it created uh, in just a few seconds. That's pretty dang good. And the cool thing is these examples will show up in the Telesense. So when someone's using it, they can see exactly how to use this method. Uh, the reason you can see it in Telesense is because I uh, submitted a request to add that to Visual Studio and the Visual Studio team did that. One thing I should warn you about these examples is currently sometimes Copilot will actually generate um, XML that's not well formed. I've notified the team of that and I hope they will fix that soon. Before I show you the last item for this episode, I wanna to talk to you really quick about my coding standards book. Uh, my new coding standards book that came out at the beginning of this year is 560 pages of information like documenting your classes, the proper way of creating classes, and lots and lots and lots of more information to make sure that you and your team is writing high quality and performing code. So my book is available on Amazon. So after this episode, I hope you go to Amazon and purchase a copy for yourself and your team, of course. Another thing that Copilot can do, and it does this very well, is to add remarks to the documentation also by using the remark tag. I'm gonna show you how you do that. So you can see here, it added some really good remarks. This method uses deferred execution to generate the pages and so on and so on. So uh, it even gives more detail, which is uh, more detail is always a better thing than less detail. So now that I've been using Copilot for a little bit now to create documentation, I've come up with some a text that uh, does a little better job than just doing slash doc. And uh, I ask it to uh, use the C tag. Um, I also add it, ask it to do remarks. So the second command I'm using the most is the same as the first, but I'm just asking it to uh, uh, provide an example. Well, there you have it. I hope that um, encourages you to use Copilot to do all of your documentation for your code now which I really, really suggest that you do. Uh, you know, Copilot is, uh, ranges from free to $21 a month. It's worth every penny, even if you just use this command alone, it's worth every penny. So make sure when you're using Visual Studio, you're using Copilot also. And stay tuned uh, for upcoming episodes to explain the other slash commands that are available in Copilot chat.